What's up, Turf Team? It's your story, Route Combo, a.k.a. the Professor on the Sticks, and we got a good one here in store for you, so let's check out this game here. Um, I have the, the Colts jerseys, and my opponent is the, the Eagles here. So, he's going to run up, up the gut first down. Nothing there. Second down, as you can see, hits me with a nice drag route across across the middle of the field. I'm excited to show you his defense and what gave me hella fits all game long, but right now he's on offense here. Nothing special yet. Had a had a nice blitz on the right edge. Come in, and he ended up throwing it right to my my safety. Was able to get a nice jump on it to make it third and four. And my my corner breaks off the receiver, but just not in time. He gets a first down right around the 50 yard line. He has a couple of crossing routes coming across the field, as you can see. And I did a good job of of guarding both of those. And he actually threw into coverage. Another screamer coming off the left edge to make it third and ten. And he's going to run the rock. And I was actually setting up for a coverage defense, and he hiked it a little too quick, and he pancaked all my guys. Got nine yards, fourth and one. I didn't want to sell out for the run. I didn't want to run commit middle and, and completely sell out because it's tough to score in the red zone. So I'm fine, you know, if you, between the tackles, if you if you get some yards on me, that's going to happen. But I don't want to sell out for the run and give him an easy touchdown. So once again, as you can see, he tried to hit me with that quick drag. That time I, pre I was prepared for it. Did a much better job in that cover two defense, as you can see. He's also no huddling me, so uh, we might get a, a decent amount of possessions in this game because a lot of people will just clock you, and it's uh, it can be just annoying. So fourth and inches this time. I'm selling out a little bit more for the run, and I took the dive away, but it was the, the fake dive uh, for the toss, and that was, I don't think, a great play call on his part, but that's just, that's just me. So first down, get a nice gain. Get down. Do, do not want to take a hit. Do not need to fumble the ball. As, and right here, I thought he was coming out in zone coverage, but he ended up, I think he audibled to me. He did a lot of audibling right before I snapped the ball, which was also kind of annoying because that can kind of mess things up. But right now, so far, he's not doing uh, what he was, what I, well, I want to show you what he was doing on defense. I think he starts doing that a little bit later on in the game, but I'll, I'll definitely be breaking that down for you. So fourth and six, and right here, I felt like the, the slant was open across the middle, but so was that route. However, I personally feel like I got the worst animation ever. I was trying to get the, the, the rack animation and be able to cut up field and get the first down. However, that did not happen. EA gave me the worst animation, so I had no chance to convert that. And look at that nano. <laughs> now that's what we call a nano. Instant sack, fourth and 15. And I'm going to get a useless pick there. <laughs> that's always the, the ones that you get picked, right? That's always the ones that you pick off. So once again... I was uh, playing uh, playing for zone. He audible to man. He did a good job of doing that a couple different times. And make it second and 20. Get a nice 10-yard gain to make it third and manageable. So third and 10 is coming to my man beater. Dot. Across the middle. And I took a huge hit, which I do not need to take. But here's where it starts. As you can see, he's starting to user the, uh, the linebacker here. And he is going to get hell of a pass rush on me my dudes could not block his guy it took me a little bit to figure out what he was doing but as you can see I tried to do a high point in the back of the end zone there uh, nothing going third and ten nothing's open he once again just got an instant block shed so I have to settle for a field goal to go up three to zero so what he's doing on defense there's pluses and minuses the pluses is they, they made it where any idiot can, can rush in like that to be honest with you and do it pretty effectively. The downside, though, is you can have simple route combinations and just and just torch your defender if you know what kind of. Uh, really, you should be able to torch him regardless, as long as you have just enough time because he can't manually take anything away. So you're you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of crossing routes and stuff like that that they're not gonna be able to manually guard and take away. So that's the downside of doing that. Uh, personally, I think you can do it a couple downs here and there, but I don't think it's worth it to do it. Um, all that much. That's just personally, but once again, these are the type of, of defensive players that can give someone like me who's not used to that just straight up hell. But I was able to get a pick right before half, so it's 3-0. to zero. This game is actually going by pretty fast here. I'm going to come out in the I form here, and nothing was open. Actually, I didn't really make that good of a read. I should have just hit the flat, but it wasn't the best read. Third and 18! <laughs> Dot to Julio! Man, Julio got robbed. He got P.I.'d at the end of that game, bro. Come on. Give Alabama some love. Look at this. So this is what I'm talking about. Now I'm... Oh, God. Then he fumbles. Then he fumbles. Just so... <laughs> I had a sack fumble. 
recovered the fumble, fumbled again. Typical, typical Madden. But once again, it, all, it was all created from his user blitzing, and his user pretty much nanoed me. <laughs> Not nanoed. I, mean, I hate when people com you know complain about nanos, but uh, you know what I'm saying. So he's rolling out here. Nothing's open. His guy fumbles, but of course they're going to call it and overturn it. This wasn't a fumble, so that's very unfortunate. As you can see, Booth reviewed, and it was overturned. Okay, so I'm still up 3-0, but it's second and goal at the two-yard line. He's running inside zone. Nothing there. Still around the one, one-and-a-half yard line. Third and goal. Big play here. He's no huddling once again. I have this uh, just, I feel like, locked up. He audibles to, looks like, stick. Nothing's open. Nothing is open. <laughs> Nothing. I don't know. That wasn't the best read, I don't think, but. I don't know what my defender was doing, but look at this. This is the second half, and I'm like, I, I can't believe this dude. This dude is just going to get instant block shed. I'm over here shaking my boots, scared. I'm, I'm, look, I'm not even looking at my receivers anymore. I'm just looking at his damn player. Another fumble. My lineman gets out of the end zone, so I don't get a safety. But this drive is pretty much ruined because of that. And, you know, I can't even look at my receivers on field. I'm just mesmerized by this dude just user <laughs> block shedding me the entire game. So, I punt the ball, though. I'm going to make him drive and hopefully just kick a field goal and just be down by seven. But he throws right at, right at my uh, my defender. No no pick there. As you can see, nothing is open. He scrambles out and does a very good job of noticing. I didn't have a damn spy out there. So he was able to get a nice seven-yard gain. Gets pretty much in field goal range here and runs it on third and three. He's done that a few different times, run the ball, whenever I thought he was going to pass it. So that time I wanted to make sure I, I had some solid uh, run D as well. And this time he decides not to use it, which was actually a good thing because he took away the one one guy that would have been open. But once again, I was about to say, if my guy would catch the damn ball, that's the downfall. A lot of these little post routes that people like to take away, uh, they like to use it. You can't really take those away if you're gonna be if you're gonna be manually rushing. But I mean, I feel like it's outweigh. You know, look, look at this. The middle is gonna be wide open. So as long as he doesn't get that initial block shed animation, I should be good. Right there, he did a really good job coming off the edge. And taking away my run, so second and nine, um, getting I got some I got some good blocking there. Was able to complete the pass for a nice gain and make it third and three, and we got dots for third and three. And my guy goes out of bounds, unfortunately at the eight, especially because my red zone offense has been atrocious and it's going to continue being bad. Here we go, second and goal. Nothing, nothing, nothing's really open. Throw to the running back. He gets in. No, he goes down to the one-yard line. Third and goal. Halfback sting for the win, baby. Let's go. But I missed the extra point. I forgot to actually put that in there. I pulled a toke nasty and missed the extra point, so I'm down by one. With 50 seconds left, I decide to kick the ball off. This is the game. Fourth and seven, down by one. And I actually clicked on my defender, my user, on the D line, and I, and I, uh, I pulled what, what he would do, just somehow make a good defensive play from the D tackle so I get a stop because I recognize his first read I got lucky because I got clicked onto the defender right when he hiked the ball but I got the stop and now I'm in field goal range but right here I like to score because people can uh, block kicks so I'm looking to score here as you can see going up the sideline he kind of lets me score with 18 seconds left so huge stop I had on defense really the play of the game going for two to make it a seven point game unable to get that so up by five uh he had his running back really wide open for at least some decent yardage to make it where he could throw a hell mary but he did not he passed that up to go for the deep ball so right here he does a screen pass not a bad idea with three seconds two seconds and look at this dude's gonna rumble and tumble to the 50 but luckily my guys catch up and i get the w i'm not gonna lie though it was kind of tough at the in the middle of that game i struggled he was getting some instant block shed and I couldn't make uh, proper reads, but then I decided let's hit him across the middle of the field. He's not; he doesn't have the user there. He's not going to be able to to guard any of these post routes. So that's the plus and the minus for doing that kind of defensive tactic. See you on the sticks.